What's up guys? So firstly, thank you to all my new subscribers. There's been quite a rapid growth recently. I'm going to try and keep this video fairly short, but as you know, I tend to run over a bit. I like to talk about this topic. So basically, I've had a lot of questions recently from all sorts of people, uh, phrased in different ways, but relating to sleep paralysis. And most of the time, they just want to know, can you turn sleep paralysis into a lucid dream? So you probably have already seen my videos about sleep paralysis before, but basically sleep paralysis is where you're body paralyzes your muscles in preparation for you to fall asleep. The reason it does this is because it's protecting you from acting out your dreams and causing yourself or others physical harm. So of course, if you're having a dream about running or fighting, you don't want to act this out in the bed because you're, you know, you're punched through your, your wall or something, you'll, you'll hurt yourself. So that's the reason we experience sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis comes with, they sort of go hand in hand with hallucination and uh, visualizations, imagery. So most of the time, when you have sleep paralysis, you're gonna see things, you're gonna hallucinate, and you're gonna start to see things that most of the time are not good, they're, they're negative, they're, they're scary things. So people report seeing you know, uh, demons or giant spiders, dark figures, all this sort of thing. The reason for this, among other things, and this is just, again, my opinion, is because when you're paralyzed, your natural response by, from your body and mind uh, is that you can't react in the face of danger. If something bad were to happen, when you know you're paralyzed, you know that you can't do anything about it. So therefore you have all these thoughts of panic running around your head and that combined with your half asleep state means you're gonna hallucinate and see bad, negative, scary things. It's nothing to worry about, they aren't really there, but you can turn this experience of sleep paralysis into a lucid dream. When you're experiencing sleep paralysis, your muscles are already paralyzed, okay? Your, your body is essentially asleep. Your mind, because you're experiencing it, do you see? Your mind is actually still aware and you're still awake and lucid. Your mind is completely ready to enter a lucid dream at this point. All you need to do is relax, not panic, and just sort of go with the flow. Experience the visualizations, see whatever you are seeing, don't, don't judge it, don't you know, try and change it or panic or escape or anything like that. And just sort of go with it. Think about what you would like to see. Visualize you know, shapes. I've done a video about visualization before. Uh, think about what you would like to dream about. If you'd like to dream about being on an island, being on a, a desert island you know, with a beautiful scenery in the background, then imagine that. And sooner or later, it will start to manifest. You'll start to sort of enter that dream through the sleep paralysis. But this, the first stage where you're, you know, you're aware of the fact that you can't move, you're aware of the fact that you're not dreaming, and you're sort of in that in-between stage where you're seeing scary things but you can't move or do anything about it, that's the, the hardest stage. You just need to wait that out, just be aware that you can't actually get hurt, nothing's gonna cause you any harm at this point. You just need to be patient and it will lead into a lucid dream. So a lot of people are saying that they, you know, they they panic and they get very scared when this happens. It's nothing to be scared of, okay? It's just a natural part, and the more experience you have, the more you practice this, the easier it will be to just think, okay, I'm in sleep paralysis now, it doesn't really matter, because I'm about to enter a lucid dream. Okay, the hallucinations you see during sleep paralysis are not real. They can't do you any harm. So I hope this answers your question, because loads of people, I mean loads of people, have been emailing me almost exactly the same thing about sleep paralysis. Is it scary? Is it dangerous? And how can I turn sleep paralysis into a lucid dream? So hopefully this has answered that for you. If you have any questions, please send them in. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.